I'm gonna get her attention. You're gonna look right here. A lot of people have asked me, you photograph dogs. Are you able to make a living in New York City? Hi, pretty girl. Guys, this is so pretty. And the answer is emphatically yes. Hi, baby. I am so happy that I have chosen this career path. Not only am I able to make a living in New York, but I'm able to do it hanging out with dogs every day. I just need to take a moment and look at how yummy this dog picture is. I can't even handle it. My name is Jen Hillingay, and I am a dog photographer in New York City and founder of The Ways of the Dog. A dog photographer is exactly what it sounds like. I photograph dogs and their people. It's really important for us to document our time with Miso because she's had quite the transformation in life and we just really want to show that off. My entire career, I've always said, you know, being a good photographer is half being an artist and half being a psychologist. And that is amplified with dogs. Not every dog wants you to just get in their face and give them love. Sometimes you have to give them treats. Sometimes you have to ignore them completely. And that's really important to set the tone for the whole session. What I'm trying to achieve with a great dog portrait is capturing the personality of that particular dog in several different ways. You want to photograph them serious with their mouths closed, if you can get it. The happy mouth open, maybe tongue out. And what you're really going for is the head tilt. I often do a profile shot of the dog looking at their owner. I like to do action shots. I want to get them in all of their glory. The average week for me, basically I'm doing everything myself. I do all the photography, all of the editing, all of the sales and all of the admin, which is a lot. Generally, I have one to three sessions a day, depending on the time of year, it is very seasonal. I schedule days where I do no sessions so that I have time to edit. I have time to do the sales presentations, which are all over Zoom. Also the admin work, mostly in the evenings, sometimes in the mornings, right when I get up and check before I leave for my sessions. Usually on a session, we try to do at least five different locations so that we're getting little looks. But I found that after 45 minutes to an hour, the dogs are like, listen, lady, I've eaten all the treats. Your noises mean nothing. Why are we in a park if we're not really in the park? I don't know what's going on. I'm done. Would you say you've taken a traditional path to get <laughs> to where you are now? Nope. I had actually gone to school for graphic design and fine art and thought I was going to be a graphic designer and took a summer job as a photo assistant. I worked with three different photography studios and then started my own in Minneapolis in 2004. I had a business partner and a huge studio. We were doing people portraits and I loved it but it was also a lot and I burned out. I had a secondary company that was online that sold marketing and education and design to photographers all over the world. After about 10 years in business, I sold that second company to a business here in New York and they pretty much hired me to come with it. So I came to New York about nine years ago and I was creative director of that company for about six and a half, seven years. But then COVID hit and the world started to work from home and somebody told me I get to work at home with my dogs. At the beginning of COVID, I decided I wasn't going back to the office, that I didn't want to direct creative anymore. I wanted to be creative again. And I decided to switch gears. Photographing dogs was the natural path that I was going to go down. I knew how much my dogs meant to me in that pandemic shutdown. They were my lifeline and I became very connected to them. And I knew that other people were as well. Everybody was open into fostering. Everybody adopted a puppy and a dog. And it was a natural progression of, we're really connected to our pets. Let's celebrate that. I have built my entire business basically in Instagram. From having dogs and going to dog events and having trainers, I kind of was already into dog world a little bit. 
But I started to really volunteer more with um, rescue groups. I started to help them with fundraising by doing photo booths. And that way I was able to um, gather a lot of emails from a lot of dog owners and really start to connect to the dog community in New York. And I started to book model sessions. And then by February 20th, 2021, middle of pandemic, I launched on Instagram and already had two scrolls worth of dog sessions completed to launch the Instagram. With the dog photography business, everybody wants to see it, even if they don't have a dog. They wanna share it. They wanna show people my Instagram and the website, and they're like, oh my God, look at this picture of this amazing dog. And so it's been very easy to actually build a following that is really passionate, and my following is not huge, but they are very dedicated to what I'm doing. And so that has been really fun to see that grow. I publish my prices on my website because I want people to see what I am charging. I think that it pre-qualifies my client. I want them to know going in that they are going to be making an investment in art of them and their pets. I didn't want to be a photographer that simply photographed a session, gives you digital images, and you put those images on Instagram and then you forget about it. The goal is to create a collection of beautiful images and then my clients print those images to decorate their home. That's what I want you to keep forever. Even longer than you have your dog, I want you to have your memory with your pet. And that is how we make it a viable career. There has never been a month since I started this that I wasn't able to make more than my salary as a corporate creative director. You know, it's really gratifying to be at this point in my life and be able to choose my career. You should never be afraid to take a path that makes you content and that makes you happy and that you feel is your purpose. What's important to me is doing something that I love and providing something into the world that other people love. And it's really fun to have the ability to sit back and see that be successful. Thank you.